I have a light bulb, that's an object, a converging lens and a screen on which the converging lens is forming a perfectly sharp in-focus image. Do we need the entire lens to form that image? The answer is no. So I have a piece of wood here. I can put part of the wood screen in front of the lens in the image on the screen formed by this lens is still pretty much the same. I'm blocking off a quarter of the lens. Now I'm blocking off half of the lens. The image is a bit dimmer, but didn't change much. Now I'm blocking off as much as three quarters of the lens and still the image is dimmer, is a little bit blurrier, but it's still there. And that's because we are at the edges of the lens. That's why it's blurrier. If instead we use a smarter object, much smarter, that's call, called an iris. It's an opening and closing aperture that looks like the iris in your eyes. So you can see through it a lot of light or a little light. If I put this exactly in front of the lens here, uh, as you can see, it's wide open and the image on the screen is bright and a bit fuzzy. And now as I close, I'm halfway closed now, this is 50% of the area, is a lot sharper. And now it gets sharper and sharper, but it also gets dimmer and dimmer because there is very little of the lens that's currently being used. So the luminosity is small, but that's understandable because only very few light rays are going through. I'm gonna put it back in front of it and you can see the image very nice and sharp because only the central rays, what's called the paraxial rays, the, one, the rays that are close to the optical axis at the center of the lens are the ones that are going through the lens and that's why the image is as sharp as it can get.